Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you guys how I made this super lemon kind of looking design. I was so inspired by the new 2021 Pantone Colors of the Year, which is a beautiful yellow called Illuminating and there was like a light grey color. I think that one was called Ultimate Grey. But I saw it online and I was super inspired, so I was like, let's just do a gel design with it. But before I'm going into how I made this, if you are new, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and of course, become a part of my little nail family as well. So I'm going right in with the thumb already. First of all, I was like, I'm not sure if I want to record this. I haven't recorded a gel polish design on my own natural nails in such a long time. Mostly because making videos like that definitely takes me like two, three hours to even record. Making sure I'm in screen, in focus and so on. It is quite a hassle. If you do videos yourself, I'm pretty sure you know the deal. And yeah, it just takes up a lot of time and work has been pretty busy. And then there were the holidays. So yeah, just about a week ago, I recorded this video and like doing my nails is something that I love to do. It is very relaxing, a lot of fun. And I do my nails at my work desk anyway, so I was like, let's just record a bit and I'll see if there is any footage that I can use. So yeah, it's a little bit of like a strange beginning. But I actually applied a beautiful yellow gel polish to my thumb. I actually had to shorten this nail because I bunked it into one of the shelves at work and there was a tear in it. There actually still is a tear on the left side of it. It has already grown out because it was full on in the fleshy part. Fortunately, it didn't hurt. I was able to fix it and now I'm just growing it out again. But to the thumb, I actually applied a couple of layers of a beautiful yellow pink gel lock gel polish that I will show you in a little bit. Once I was like starting to record this, I was like, okay, I'll just show everything that I'm using later. And I'm also going in with a layer of No Wipe Top Coat by Pink Jalak as well. And just placing three very standard gems on it. I just felt like this is such like a short but cute nail. It needs a little bit of bling. But for the other nails, I have already applied the base colors. So I did actually the same thing for the middle fingernail like uh, I did for the thumb. So yeah, I didn't record that just to save a little time in this video as well. But let me just show you all of the items that I used. So as a base coat, I actually used the Vita Base by Pink Jellock. This one has like some vitamins in there. So it is pretty good to the nails as well. Then the yellow I used is called Breeze Yellow. All of the gel polishes I'm using in this particular video and that I've used for this entire design are by Pink Jellock. So if there are any items that I forget to like show or anything like that, it's all pink jellock. Then for the gray, I didn't really have a lot of gray colors, but I did have one from the Lollipop collection. I think that was like a collection somewhere from 2020 spring. But this color in real life, like on the nails, it is a very light gray color, but it seems to have a little bit of like an olive-y kind of like drop to it or something. It can look a little bit like a very soft green in some lighting, but yeah. It was the best that I could do with the gray tones that I had in my collection because most of them were way too dark to actually even come close to the ultimate gray Pantone color. But yeah, I am going to do some cute stamping and in this video I actually did a reversed stamping for the first time ever. I think I have tried it like once before, like 10 years ago or something, but I can't even remember if it went well. I don't know. I don't think it went well because I would have done it more often. <laughs> but yeah, I just really wanted to try it out again because it had been so long. And I'd been postponing actually doing a reverse stamp design for ever. And sometimes you just have to grab life by the balls and conquer your fears and just try new stuff, you know? So that is actually what I did. And I have to say this first one kind of failed. I think I didn't wait long enough for the polish to be dry enough because I know it has to still be like a little bit tacky. So it um, grabs 
onto the nail a little better but the first one i tried actually got smudged and after that i was like okay i'm not going to quit give up or anything like that so i just tried again with a little less of that yellow polish the stamping polishes are by nicole diary by the way it's just a black and a yellow that i used and i used a dotting tool to actually fill in um, the yellow color and I did notice that it's really easy to just remove any excess if you accidentally like went out of the lines a little bit too much you can just remove that with a little bit of tape just the same way that I always clean off my stamper anyways oh and the stamper that I'm using is by Essence Cosmetics unfortunately this one is discontinued like last year or even in 2019 so yeah i'm sorry about that you can't get it anymore through like an official essence seller um, but maybe you can still get it online somewhere but yeah um in the end the other two lemons that i did on my pinky turned out to be great so i just removed the first one and just redid that fully also, I wanted to mention, I didn't even show this in the footage itself. Before I went in with my stamped designs, I made sure that I had fully top coated my nails with a no wipe top coat, just the same one that I used for um, adhering the gems to my nails as well. I do so because I don't want anything like, I don't want any sticky inhibition layer of gel on my stamper that's not good for it. I try to take as good care of my stamper as possible mostly because this one is discontinued and it is the best stamper that i've ever tried so yeah just make sure that if you're going to do some stamped nail art or anything like that with regular stamping polishes on top of a gel surface make sure there's no sticky layer left to the nail because it might damage and ruin your stamper then the next nail that I wanted to do is for the pointer. So I am mostly doing like stamps on the gray nails. You can totally do so on the yellow nails as well if you just want to switch it up, turn it all around and stuff like that. But because I am doing cute stamp designs, I just decided to only do it on top of the gray ones. At first, like the first stamp that I did was actually the same image as the one I am filling in right here with the yellow i did place that one just the black outlines of all of the lemons onto my yellow um, based ring fingernail in the end uh, you will see that in a little bit as well after i've stamped this one on i am going to remove it because i didn't feel like it, it didn't look bad but there was just something in me that didn't like it mostly because i did the reverse stamp of like the same image on another nail i was like mm, i don't want just that simple black outline i just want it to be really pretty so i just left the ring finger nail completely just with a yellow gel polish color it actually looks pretty cute because the other yellow base nails are quite simple as well they only have a couple of gems and I think leaving the ring finger nail just bare with the solid color ties in this design perfectly. There's already a lot going on with the reverse stamps and especially the one I'm going to apply onto my pointer finger right now. That are a lot of lemons, let me tell you that. But yeah, I actually really love this design. Like for some reason at first, I really didn't know what to do with this color combination. But then I just grabbed my polishes. Um, that is usually how I plan out my designs. Like mostly I just pick colors first or maybe even some gems and stuff like that. And from that point on, I just keep on adding things, even removing, as you can see right here. Here I was removing the black outline lemons that I had on my ring fingernail. It was just, I didn't like it. It was too much or something and usually I'm not really that kind of person who's like oh that's too much to put on nails because you know me I like a lot of stuff on my nails <laughs> but yeah I think it was more wearable and more like cohesive this way but yeah if you are done with your manicure you just want to go in with your top coat and just seal it all in with an extra layer of that and of course just make sure that you cure it for the proper amount of time for pink jellock polishes their colors and their top coats you have to cure for a full minute in led their base coats are usually 30 seconds or a full minute as well 
but yeah this was the entire design already i really hope you liked it thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and as usual i hope to see you in my next video Thank you.